Hi, James Photography again for another basics and terminology video, and this one is rear curtain sync. Now, the one I've done before was high speed sync. This is rear curtain sync. This is to do with flashes and speed lights again. So, what is rear curtain sync? And this can be a really handy thing to do once you get the hang of it. You can dazzle your friends with the photographs and things like that. So, you may have seen shots perhaps on a dance floor in a disco or a wedding reception where the subjects are frozen with a speed light or a flash wherever they are, like off camera, on camera, whatever where the subjects are all nicely lit up and they're dancing and they're frozen like statues. So it's really caught the person or the people dancing, okay? But around it, you've got swirling lights everywhere. Perhaps there's disco lights or just nice ambient lights and it's all swirling and there's motion as well. The people look like they're blurry, but then part of them is like razor sharp where they've been lit up by the flash. So it gives it that kind of cool sort of disco-y effect and you may see it in certain shots and you think, how does that work? Now that is rear curtain sync. Now the way it works is you drag your shutter, okay? So you put it on rear curtain sync with your, your speed light set up, however you've got it, and the flash will go off right at the very end, okay? So the shutter will be open for say 15th of a second, which is pretty quick, but to a camera that's very, very slow. So the shutter will be open, and then just before the shutter closes, the flash will go off. So it dra it's dragging the shutter. So it's like a very slow process, like shutter open, flash okay now while that shutter's open any movement at all if you sort of slightly move it like that any lights that are ambient are going to be blurry it's going to paint the light you know like when you see car lights in a street shot at night where it's gone across like it's, the light is long and painted and then right at the end the flash will expose the subjects the subjects that you're pointing at so that will like freeze that in a millisecond of time even though the shutter's open for quite a long time the flash is like a millisecond so it gives it that cool kind of look. You can have front curtain sync, but rear curtain sync, that's what I use. So it's about 10th of a second, 15th of a second, and you just slightly move it like that. If you go too crazy, you'll have squirrels and squiggles with all the lights. But that's what rear curtain sync is. So try it at 10th of a second, have your flash on rear curtain sync and your camera set up for that as well. Give it a go, just give it a slight movement, and then you'll get those cool sort of looks. And then you can impress all your friends with it and put it on Instagram and everyone will think you're amazing. But it's actually quite a simple thing. And that's what rear curtain sync means. Thank you.